Hey everyone, Tammy Rose here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a very dark, smoky eye look. Like it, I'm trying to make it as black as black as possible on your eyes. Uh, I'm now in my kitchen. That's why there's like cupboards and fruit in here. Um, <laughs> I found that this is the best place for light because light is coming from all these directions. So it's basically on my on my eyes, and hopefully the makeup should stand out better. Uh, I've never done it in the kitchen before, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we will see. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with the video. Uh, I'm going to be leaning down here quite a lot, so I'm just going to zoom in and move this down a little bit so you can see exactly where I'm going with my eye here. Um, so I'm going to start off with this. Now this looks probably looks like a horrible, horrible mess, but it's actually black eyeshadow and petroleum jelly. Uh, it makes like a kind of a gel. So. I'm going to be using this as a base, but I know you can get these black bases, but I don't actually have any, uh, I can't afford it. <laughs> so I'm just going to be using this, this is my kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, cheaper version. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in here, I'm just going to put it on my lid right up to make it, as you can see I've got a really small crease in my eye, uh, so I'm only going up to there. Oh wow, this is actually going really nicely onto the eye. You know, a little bit higher actually. Right down to the lashes. Corner of the eye. Both corners of the eye. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit. On here. Wow, it has such a nice effect. By the way, at the start of this video, all I had was mascara on, I didn't have anything else. So I've just done that with that, um, just a base. Uh, when I look up now, it'll just press it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go onto my other eye, do that quite quickly, I think. What I like about using Vaseline is that it doesn't dry properly, which means you can put other colours on it if you wanted. Like if I was to put like a really bright purple on right now, that colour would pop like really be like purple is here. Um if you know what I mean. So I'll finish with that for now. I might use it as a liquid liner later, I don't know. But I'm going to take this is a concealer brush, um, but it's clean, completely clean, new. Uh, it's got really hard bristles, and I found it's the best thing to actually blend this with. Um, just blend, 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 up to about there, I think. So it's like when you look straight ahead, um, and you can just start to see this blending coming out, then you know that you're there. I'm just going to bring this out to a, a point like that. Just going to go under my eye, blend it, and um, like that. Same to the other eye. And again, uh, do not forget to wash it. I did that last time, I tried this look and, and I used it as a concealer and I ended up having black spots all over my face that would not come off <laughs> until like a week later because I'd like rubbed it into the spot and it was kind of there under the skin and it wouldn't go and I didn't want to like pick it, I mean you can see I've got a big spot here and a big spot down here as well so I will kind of try and go down with it later. Anyway. I'm going to go in with a matte black colour, which I'm going to be using this one here. Uh, I'm going to take a small eyeshadow brush. Eyeshadow brush, there we go. Uh, I'm just going to go in there. And I'm going to put that, press that on top of this Vaseline. I'm dabbing it so I don't get much fallout. Go back in there again. So I want this really really black. I want it to be a kind of a gothic look. I'm going to take this 
matte black shadow all the way around my eye. So it kind of makes this not as shiny as this last one, but it is there, you can tell it's there. But this just basically makes the black stick there, if that makes sense. Then, it's a bit long. Uh, so I'm going to take a large eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to go up to the top here, blend it just around the edges, just to get rid of any harsh, sharp lines all the way into the eye. I'm sorry about the fringe by the way, I don't have any uh, grips or anything on me right now. They're all upstairs, so I can't bother to run all the way back upstairs. Especially when my room's like directly above the kitchen. I live in a cottage by the way, so it's all like a maze. So that's the look so far. Um, and you can see it's so, 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 so black. And I love it, absolutely love it. Uh, it really brings uh, any colour eyes out. I mean, already I can tell that my eyes are coming out a bit more. You can't really see it on here. But I'm going to go ahead with some L'Oreal L'Oreal Paris Contour Call in uh, Jet Black. Oh, stupid fringe. So that's why I'm cutting it. <laughs> um, so yeah, just the waterline. Up here, I'm going to put a finger here pull up and get this little bit of a flat up here. I only do like that bit, that's it, done. Um, it's just so when you don't look up you don't have like a white line at the top. Yeah. <coughs> Most of my voice quite like this one, so if I end up with like loads of voice cracks on my voice only girls, please don't be like, oh my god your voice is horrible. Uh, Anyway, so this is just a, uh, what is it, Matte Spatula Lash Extension Effect, my usual, um, I would normally suggest false lashes for this look, but uh, I can't apply them and I don't have any glue anyway to apply them even if I was to attempt. Um, that's my one weakness, I cannot apply false lashes. <laughs> what I love about this is because my lashes are naturally long I don't tend to use uh, falsies oh, I'm just getting to dry My webcam flips me if you know what I mean, so it's really weird looking at me in two different ways. Um, there's one eye that I didn't like to walk on, which one was it? This one. That's better. That's better. Wasn't happy with it. Um, so I've done that right now. Onto the skin, I'm going to take uh, Max Factor Experience. This is raw silk. And it's a weightless foundation. It's absolutely amazing. I'm just put a little bit on my finger. I'm gonna go over a few blemishes with this. See, with the gel, well, I'm, I'm gonna call it gel liner, but it's actually the Vaseline in black eyeshadow, that gel kind of made all the eyeshadow stick including the fallout which means that I don't get any on my face which is absolutely brilliant. See I'm just going over it like, a con like I would a concealer at the moment over my face with my finger. I'm getting right down in this crease of my nose as well. Spots. Now with the rest, I'm gonna half it. So I've got a little bit on each finger. Ooh, there we go. A little bit on each finger. And we're gonna go up here like this and down.
I have quite good hand eye coordination, so especially when using my both fingers at the same time. Well, which I use now. Uh, <laughs> no offense. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. So I'm just gonna take some simple uh, make eye makeup remover on a cotton pad. Can we get rid of that? That's fine, you know. Um, so I'm next going to take foundation brush my foundation I'm just going to not put as much on as I would normally do so yeah I'm going to put like a small small bit on there that will do my cheeks and a bit of my forehead that's more than enough of your forehead and then just put the rest of my cheeks So I tend not to use as much on my forehead as I do my cheeks because obviously my forehead's done after that then. But because I've done like most of my cheek anyway by going like round my nose and stuff like that. I was going to bring it down a bit because you can't see. That's just the remainder on my brush. I'm not applying anymore. I'm not applying like loads more onto my neck. And um, so when I'm trying to hurry it up, it just never works for me. So I'm going to take some bronzer. This is an Estee Lauder, my usual. I'm using the middle one, which is like a bronzer. Is showing up? Maybe not. I'm zooming out so you can see I'm doing a bit more. How terrible my hair looks. I washed it this morning so it's really not behaving itself. Mm, that's that done. And because I use black on all my other brushes, I'm just going to take my ring finger when it's clean. Take my ring finger. Um, this is a barely there by Seventeen Eyes. This is barely there. Uh, these are really good. I'm going to be using this cream colour here down at the bottom. I'm just going to put that on my ring finger so it's I've got that much on it per eye. And I'm just going to run that along the top there. Same the other eye, all the way along the top of this eyeshadow. Like that. And then I'm going to get my big fluffy brush, just going to clean that off a little bit. And blend those two together. Like so. And then there we go, done. Uh, if you want to make it a little bit more dramatic, you could get a colour and just put, like, with this big brush, like, done, like that, just like a little spot of colour. But I don't have a spot of colour, but so I'm going to go in with a grey colour. Uh, I'm going to go with the dark grey. I'm going to put a little bit on my brush. I'm just going to go up. Press, done. Dry. Press, done. Uh, clean that off a little bit yet again. There's a lot of cleaning in brushes involved when I do this. I don't really dry clean them um, so they're not properly cleaned and then just blend that out a little bit either side. Just gives your eye a little bit more depth, and there we go. That's the look done. So as you can see, it's really, really, really black and really dark. It brings most eye colours out because I've got really quite dark green eyes, and um, you can just tell it just brings it out a little bit. Um, I would normally use falsies, like I said, but uh, anyway, um, my 15 minutes is nearly up, so I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say that. Uh, please like subscribe to the videos uh, please check out my Halloween look please 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 it's like my best look ever um, also my rock chick hairstyle is doing really well and if you can watch it even more and please like it please because I only have like three likes and it's like over 366 views so anyway I'm gonna say bye now so uh, bye <laughs>